time it's the seven o'clock hour here in west tennessee i'm patrick i'm will i'm nick and we are back to the lodge kudos nick you got it right you did freaking finally <laughs> and early finally we were, yes. we were ready we are on ready time a few minutes ago on the dot we have broken new record o'clock. we're gonna start this year off right if you could turn my monitor up just a little bit because i can't hear anything <laughs> people aren't even gonna tune in for like 10 minutes is that yours <laughs> it's the 710 hour. no that's not me okay maybe no, it wasn't me. Try it now. Check one, two. Yeah, it's a little better. I can kind of hear myself. I don't know. But anyways, uh, there, you, whatever you just did, that was it. There you cool. go. Cool. Awesome. Now I actually hear myself, which is, is even loud worse enough? than it was before. Yeah. I don't like now to you know hear how myself. we feel. Yeah, no is shit. Is that loud enough? Yeah, that's good. Sweet. So uh, anyways, 2022, <laughs> we weren't here last week. Um, the vid. Sorry, guys. He was down with the sickness. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like one of your burps. But uh, oh, we, we are back. It's a new year. Uh, we want to remind everybody, you're watching us live on Facebook, hit that share button, let your friends know, say, hey, it's 7 o'clock, it's time for some shenanigans. Uh, you know, let people know, because we do giveaways every once in a while, and fun things. Speaking of giveaways, if you want a giveaway, and you haven't messaged us yet, <laughs> Will doesn't have your shipping address. So yeah. let me know, because <laughs> I want to get you your stuff, and I feel bad, because I feel like I forgot, even though I don't really... <laughs> you still can't ship it. I can't, I can't <laughs> guess your information. I don't want to guess it. And, you know. We had some people get their stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, last we last week they came up. So I was Friday. So that was cool. That was the coolers, some hats, shirts. I wasn't here for that one. I was here. I was. I got it to them. But anyways, uh, give us a follow. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us. I'm going to trip Nick up on YouTube. Yeah, I ain't got that one. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> and Talk Talk. And Talk Talk, which we've had some shenanigans on there. It I almost posted TikTok, one today. Talk, but yeah. Talk Talk. You almost posted one today. Yeah, the one of you in my living room. Oh, no. During the meeting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, Kool Aid, man. <laughs> That's it. Kool Aid. We drink Monster up in this. That's right. So, there you go. Um, okay. So yeah, 2022 New Year hunting season wrapped up this last Friday. It did. Uh, I think I finished the year. How many did you finish with? I don't even remember. I think I had nine, <laughs> nine or ten. I don't know. <laughs> I quit I counting. Don't. The boys had one each, so I'm counting those, even though they tagged them. But my boys got their first deer this year. That mm-hmm. was my happiest moment with the kids as far as getting them outdoors and watching them get their first harvest. Uh, we got some pictures of it. The video wasn't all that great because we didn't really think they were going to get successful <laughs> right away. But, uh, you know, it worked out well. Right. We got some great photos. Uh, my oldest son uh, just had his 15th birthday yesterday. That. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. And uh, my youngest son is 10. So for both of them to get a deer. In like the same same week, same Their first days, actual sit. Yeah. yeah. So Austin sat first. Mm-hmm. And then Jake sat second. And back to back it was just yeah. that was, was a good surreal. day that was awesome so get the kids out there uh i can't explain like how gratifying that was oh i don't doubt to, it to I have them get I their first 
Sav actually sat in the blind for the first time. Oh, that's awesome. She had earplugs and muffs <laughs> and her hood, <laughs> and she was kind of playing on her tablet. But so she was better than some adults I know, up to and including me a lot of the times. Um, <laughs> the only problem was if she wanted to say something, she forgot she had all that hearing protection on. So she, uh, so Daddy! Oh, we, we might edit the video. <laughs> Maybe we'll have Nick work on that. <coughs> I did video my youngest son. I was holding the rifle for him because oh, yeah. he's 10. I remember that. And I was like, okay, you'll pull the trigger when I tell you to. And I had the safety off because I was on the deer. But I am said, not yet, not yet. I put earmuffs on him. <laughs> he couldn't hear me. He just saw your mouth say yet or yes. I, yeah, I, I don't know what he heard, but he said oops after I, I was like, wasn't ready, you know. But it wasn't so bad. He, he still dropped her. Dropped sure. the doe, didn't have to track, which was <coughs> not always a good lesson for the first time. But it was, you know, it was an easy recovery, which made him, right. you know, very happy. But my finger was, I had it off the trigger, you know, weapon safety. Right. So I took the safety off to get ready for him because I was in a safe direction. Everything mm-hmm. was good. But my finger was behind the bolt. Mm. Oh. It's kind of like a scope kiss, but. Yeah, just call it a snake I think I would have rather yeah. taken that. A rat bite, yeah. I would have definitely rather uh, taken the scope. No. Yes. Not. Yes. My finger literally was throbbing for two not weeks. Not a chance. I don't know about that, man. I, I like prefer it. finger, eyeball. No, not the eyeball. You're going to get like you no, know, you don't get to pick. Bone. You don't get to pick how it does it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, well, if you're lined up right. I only want trouble. this, but make sure there's rubber right there. And I'll take the bloody protected. eyebrow. Not me. I would, I've, never, I've never gotten a real scope kiss. I don't think I have. Almost. Now I had glass. I had sunglasses on one time, and it tapped the glasses, but not not hard I, enough I think to that's, do anything. That's the really. worst thing I had. Um, but it got the bridge in my nose a little bit. Mine. I feel like I'd remember. Mine didn't. I. I it just hit my glasses. But I was like, I've gotten. I was close. a teenager, and it was a three hundred win mag, so I wasn't. Yeah. Just wasn't ready. But hey, you learn <laughs> learn real fast that way. It it bees like that sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, yeah, the hunt season was great. Getting the kids out was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Will talked about in the last episode when we were on. Uh, he had a disabled veteran hunt, got a vet out that got a deer. And, you know, just getting people outside. And, and we keep saying that, and they go, well, why? Well, because I was that kid, you right. know, growing up. And I didn't have anywhere to hunt. Nobody would take me out. And, you know, I didn't start hunting until I was a late teenager. Oh, and that okay, was yeah. – I was not very successful. So it was in my 20s when I finally started, you know, Kinda figuring it out. serious patterns, though. And then in my 30s, I'm like the squirrel whisperer, you know, <laughs> start listening to the squirrels. That was the best hunting tactic. Hey, I, I'm the squirrel whisperer, even look, even in D.C. I can call the squirrels. We have a squirrel whisperer who works here, too. Huh. <laughs> I'll leave that? that one all the way alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. So, yes, that was an inside joke. And you want to know more, you have to come up here and find out for yourself. Yeah, that's an off air. <laughs> that's an off air discussion. But anyways, uh, lots of announcements coming up. Mm-hmm. This week is our last week here in this studio um, coming up because we are heading off to SHOT Show 2022 All In. It is actually, for all you haters out there, this is the biggest SHOT Show they've ever had. Uh, vendor-wise, all the big names. Everybody's going, oh, they're all canceling. The only one that I know for a fact, big name that's not going to be there is Sig. Sig, yeah. Glock's going to be there. Daniel's defense is going to be there. Everybody else is there. Barrett's there. Everybody. Aimpoint, Trijicon, Eote. I mean, everybody. And they added another floor. I am insanely excited. I love the outdoors, but I am a. I mean, I ran through it through. I mean, I I love firearms and stuff safety and all include and for those who don't know a lot of the vendors at shot show are training people i mean they're they they have whole mm-hmm. whole companies that are just dedicated to training and safety, gun safety technology um but look this this is how i remembered it but now it's it says venetian expo it used to be the las vegas convention center i don't know what right. it's called now if it's still the same but it says level five and then there's level one and two i don't know if three and four was in there I think those are the press rooms, but then they added the Caesars Forum. Yeah. And that's covering it's gonna be huge. boost 70,000 to 81,000. Oh, it's it's going to be massive. I I already feel like a kid in a candy store. Cuz this is but but here's the best part. This is the best part. 
<laughs> if you're an outdoor enthusiast and you want to be at SHOT Show, as you know, you the public can't get in. So it is a vendor <coughs> trade show. Right. Manufacturers, all that kind of stuff. Um, and even for them, it's not cheap to walk in. I mean, I want to say no. it's like 600 to 700 bucks just per, to get per in. Per ticket. Per ticket. Yeah. So if you want to see if approved the newest thing, the new technology, the new products, we're going to be covering it live. The whole time. So check it, dog. Monday night, oh. we will be doing this live <coughs> with our cohort, Justin. That's true. Producer from California mm-hmm. who is flying in that day. And we will be live from my room at the New York, New York, and Las Vegas. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. The only person that sucks for is Nick. Why? Because you got to set up all the equipment. Sleeping in the bathtub. <laughs> no, he can sleep in his own room. <laughs> yeah, it does. It is. <laughs> Don't make that face, Nick. Said I mean, but he he know setting up the equipment stuff seems like it's going to suck for us. But the same thing I told him the other day. Like that's his jam. So he just does it. Yeah. Like if he told me to do it, a lot it's of people, a lot of bad. I don't know. I guess it, it all goes back to just what you enjoy, you know? So, like, not everybody enjoys sound production or anything like that. But to someone who does, it's not even a job. So, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. <laughs> so, you enjoy this? Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> everybody listening right now mm-hmm. heard this that you enjoy setting this up. Yeah. It does. I can't wait until Monday. Look, I mean, Are you, plus he'll have Justin there too. Oh, that's they can right. nerd out together and do what, their. What, what were you planning? I can't uh, wait for you to start bitching. Like the Wi-Fi is not working right, or the altitude's too high. Oh, or... oh, no, 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 no. The, the no, altitude no, no, no. in Vegas? No, no, no. Okay, on that floor, yeah. Well, he, that's... Hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Okay, uh, I will go ahead and be the number one person to say this, <clears throat> and I'll even speak for everyone else that also shares this thought with me. <clears throat> I love technology, really do. Mm-mm. I swear I do. I get I it. It's you. just something that I naturally get. But I hate, and it is a big pet peeve of mine, I hate whenever technology or a piece of technology doesn't do <laughs> what it's supposed to do. <laughs> right. I Like, I, it, it's as good Which as dead like to me. Which is like 87% of the time, bro. Like, mm, 84 percent maybe, maybe like 37% of the time. It works. It, no, that no, it doesn't work. Don't you work. tell me that no. it doesn't work. Absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> have you ever thought to yourself that maybe the reason why your piece of technology mm-hmm. doesn't work eighty mm-hmm. percent of the time is mm-hmm. because maybe maybe it's a user. Oh, for issue. sure. That is absolutely that is absolutely an issue. <laughs> He's throwing a lot of blame around already. He is. Our brother Jim says, "I get it, Nick. Drinking bourbon isn't a job to me. I get it, man." That's <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's a good time, but no, I really am excited about Shot Show. Um, this is, I mean, other trade shows and stuff are cool, but this is anybody that knows me personally knows it's like, a love hate relationship from a media standpoint because Shot Show, obviously, awesome stuff, cool people, sure. you know, so many things going on. <laughs> the not so fun part is I'm so out of shape and walking hey, and round standing. is a shape. Oh man, but I'm not even round. I'm like. Ectomorphic. Okay. That's skinny fat. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Nick's going to find out because he was like, oh, man, this is going to be fun. This is going to be great. I was like, yeah, okay. Look, I don't... There's no chairs. <laughs> so, for <laughs> after five days, you're like... That's true. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but I don't even care. Look, this I, is... So, like, my wife tells me all the time, can we talk about something else? I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, <laughs> you go from hunting back to guns. Shooting sports back to guns. I should, what, are we, what are we doing this week at range? You know, we're doing all this or, Hey, I'm building this or, you know, I'm doing that. I get to go talk about what I love for, for five days, four days. Yeah. There you go. Just not, I mean, hear about them, talk about them. This is, Hey, you know what we need for the, for the leg thing? Like, you know, walking around for five days straight, no chairs, legs killing us. Right. Ibuprofen and spare socks. And one, what? One hundred percent, one hundred percent. But also, and this is—I feel like this is a '90s kid thing. So, Patrick, I'm sorry. <laughs> Healy, he's ninety. He is. 90. <laughs> Shit. He's in his nineties. That's fine. Healy's, 
Healy's. I okay. said it. I can't wait till Justin and Heath are with us. And I'm Do not you know how hard I fall? Did you Did you have a pair? No. One, I was too poor for those. <laughs> two, by the time I could afford them, I was too damn big for them. What are we talking about? Healy's. Exactly. I don't know what that is. I believe that. But here's the thing. <laughs> so... Standing. Look, it they're like skater shoes, right? But they got a wheel in the heel. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It's the shoes that move. You just That's right. That's I've right. seen people do some impressive stuff and I fall down. <laughs> no. I fall down. <laughs> Nick. It's probably like <laughs> <laughs> You better flip that camera around. <laughs> It's coming out his nose. It is. It's coming. It's a coming. <laughs> What's that monster smell like? Oh god. Oh. I'm just saying. Like when I'm, he said, when he said that, I just I, I pictured it in my head. I was like, this man is rolling. I was gonna say it wasn't even that funny. I just liked your reaction. No, to I it. just no. I just I, I fall slowly this man too. Just rolling. Like if I'm running and I trip, I'll fall. I'm one of those people that will fall for like ten feet. <laughs> On wheels, I just look like the rolling, like leaning tower of pizza, going down, pizza. Going down the hallway until I Extra finally cheese. just eat it. Extra cheese, and uh, it's not cool. So no, I didn't have Heelys. Oh um, man, won't ever have Heelys. You missed out on medical bills. Yeah, sure did. Yeah. <laughs> did you did you not ever go skating or anything? Well, yeah, I went skating. It's like that. Uh, no, it's like a unicycle on either foot. <laughs> Skated. I was I was an inline guy, so four wheels each leg, but, each foot. Rollerblade. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Mine are out there. You should try them. <laughs> you got rollerblades out there? I yeah, absolutely. The, the wheels are made of like <laughs> granite. <laughs> 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 it's like the Flintstones car on each God, foot. I can't stand you. The leather on them's got cracks <laughs> in it all the way down. <laughs> You know, no <laughs> woolly mammoth leather. <laughs> Lace is made I'm of done. pure I don't even dodo know bird what to say feather. At this point. <laughs> oh, you know, well, those were expensive. <laughs> having the dodo bird feathers. I'm certain. I mean, I yeah. I don't know what money wasn't a thing then, but I mean, I'm sure you had it to trade, them. <laughs> trade <laughs> vittles and <laughs> gold shillings. Yeah, <laughs> give you two brontosaurus Why burgers. In the hell, these? do I do this show? <laughs> <laughs> Two brontosaurus burgers for that pair of. Oh man! Yeah. Anyway, Flintstones say hi. By the way, <sighs> yeah, I I've, I had their gummies, uh, chewables. Oh, they ha- oh, that's right, You're vitamins. Young. Yeah, <laughs> they were tough <laughs> vitamins back in the day. It just never mind. They weren't but, that tasteful. No, they're awful. But yeah. I feel like that's probably why nobody got <laughs> sick. Yeah, and they made they made vitamins <laughs> taste good, and now they're probably just like. Jello with some Tylenol in them, or so I don't know. I'm not a doctor. <sighs> Just play one on TV. But my brother's on here watching. I'm 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 hoping he's feeling the same pain since he's older than you guys. Oh. Is he older than you? No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> we we both used to rollerblade. We you know, hang out. I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to it. So 2022, it's a new year. Um, We're getting ready. Uh, Justin has so graciously uh, put a new website together at backtothelodge.com. It's not up yet, uh, but it will be up this week before we get to SHOT Show uh, because we've had (coughs) some new sponsors reach out. And for lack of better words, Justin's (laughs) dealing with that. So (laughs) he's got the funnel set up to where uh, if you want to inquire about being a sponsor this year, uh, you can reach out. Justin will take care of that. There'll be a, a form on the Back to the Lodge page or website, mm-hmm. which you can message us on social media. That goes to Justin. He can see it and, and get you set up. Um, we had some products that were sent to us that I do want to talk about, even though we didn't get a kill with it, but I'm not done. And, and I even right. told them uh, they want us to try it. And it wasn't a sponsor. This was a new, new product, not a new company called right. – uh, VIP Solutions, which was Veteran Innovative Products. And they sent us these mechanical broadheads to try for archery season. Well, as you know, we were on the road right. for most of archery season filming, and we did get out. We started to film it just to see how they'd work. Because, uh, number one, we won't work with any product or company that we don't support anyway. Right. So that's already a no-brainer. So they sent us these broadheads, 
uh, and they're mechanical broadheads at that. Holy they're hell, nasty. are these things nasty? Like, like scary to touch, nasty. I was a little scared. In the, I mean, the packaging's great, yeah. but I opened it up and I'm like, oh, might want to put gloves on. Yeah, it's uh, they'll take your finger off, but uh, it's not not something to play with. But but if you're a mechanical broadhead guy, sure, or gal, let's let's leave no. it open because no. women are kicking ass right now. That's a fact, um, and as they should. And but your ass. the mechanical broadheads, if you have that slip cam, I'm not to name brands, but right. the little plastic collar, this removes all that. Yeah. It has an internal cam with a lock. So when you spring load it, it locks into place and inertia makes it open. And, oh, boy, <laughs> I cannot wait to get a kill with this. Mm. It is. They are slick. Yeah. I mean, I'm, they are I'm slick. pretty simple. I mean, I feel like everybody kind of knows that. And the fewer, you know exterior parts i like but as soon as i opened the package and it was just that easy i don't i don't mess with mechanical broadheads and stuff a lot yeah, not for that, that complicated reason complicated as a mechanical broadhead no it's i i mean i figured it out pretty quick i'm i'm not even a bow guy i mean years ago after i hurt my shoulder i just stopped you, bow you said enough right there what i'm not a real quick guy yeah I, <laughs> we know i'm not you know but it I like familiar platforms, but I do. I mean, I like trying new new platforms. But the fact that these would be effective and could work, will work, do work on multiple bow platforms mm -hmm. too, crossbow, crossbow compound, compound, whatever yep. you need. Recurve. <coughs> so yep. whatever you whatever you are comfortable with, whatever you want to do, they're out there for you, and there are multiple. I'm trying to think. We had what. Two blade and three blade. Yeah. Um, the, well, like it was that. two different types. I mean, they're both kind of mechanical. One was more of a, a fix, but either way, they're both nice. We'll post the information up once we're finished with them. But right now, I still wanted to give them a shout out because they're bad products. They don't sponsor us. Badass. Um, but they were, so it was really cool of them to send, and we obviously loved them. Mm -hmm. uh, hope to have more footage of that. But I mean, for Will to like them and figure them out, I mean, there's a cable guy somewhere going, hey, he's my people. Yeah. I mean, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I I literally still hunt with a 1969 Browning automatic. Mm -hmm. I mean, by choice. I mean, I've got the modern stuff, but like that's my go-to. I gotta um, make that transition. <coughs> well, at least on the optic side, because that's <coughs> now that's, that's that's one thing. Is garbage. That's one thing that I I do still have the original scope for that rifle, um, but that's one thing that that I am kind of spoiled on now. I if you need the equipment. You don't have to go spend a million dollars. We've said it before, but if <laughs> that was a loud swallow, <laughs> me, oh, my bad. So <clears throat> they uh, use the equipment that works. Uh, I am kind of. I'd rather have a very simplistic rifle and a really good scope. Yeah. Um, <coughs> you guys are horrible people. <clears throat> so, anyways, if you want to be a sponsor. For I can't. I can't even talk right now. You left the door wide open. If you want to be a sponsor, <laughs> send a message. Because we are going to work. We guy. are working with new sponsors this year. Um, we're, we just want to get it more aligned with what we do and yep. uh, and keeping it to the outdoor uh, related like products that we actually use. I don't. I don't want to be working with sponsors of stuff that we don't use. And right. It just makes no sense. Well, and it's but, not just hunting. I mean. I'd, between the between the three of us and and our people and stuff, I mean we. Well, that's what I said. Things yeah, that we use. We, you know, we ride horses. We camp. We kayaks. I mean, all kinds of stuff. We hiking. Do. I do. You might ride horses. Who's what? this we shit? <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't have a horse. Uh, yeah, I could see Nick coming in the front door on a miniature pony. Like, hey guys. I would. You would make a regular horse look like a miniature. Pony. Really. <laughs> like, I just, no need for stirrups. Oh, just. Oh, kick on the ground that, <laughs> like a pedal car. I'm going to, I would film that and turn that into something amazing. That I'd, scares I'd, me. I love our horses too much to do that to them, but, <laughs> <laughs> but they just can make dwarf every horse. But that's a little oh. horse. Oh crap. Now we uh, did talk about a couple weeks ago and I'm going to bring it back up because we threw them up on the wall. That's our buddy Benny at BT outdoors. Uh, Buffalo carp season is in, guys. If you want to get out and do some serious bow fishing down in Sam Rayburn in Texas, that's the east side of Texas if you're not familiar with that big state. And uh, Benny's got it set up right now, $125 a shooter. You go out for the entire evening. Uh, it's a blast. And it's a four-person, three-person minimum three during the week, four-person minimum on the weekend. That's what, six hours? 
<laughs> at least. I mean, it's just a blast. But it's you're gonna have fun. You're gonna shoot some big ass fish. Oh, yeah. uh, you'll get you'll get tired before you run out of time from shooting the fish, and it's it's fun. I mean, I and yep. if nobody's done it, I recommend at least once. And and we he did correct us. So we said, well, yeah, probably eighteen and up for the kids. But actually, he's had young kids on there fishing. Yeah. Hmm. So if you want to change it up, get out there and do some. Uh, winter fishing for them big buffalo he holds the state record i think it's 77 pounds uh, or, or the lake record i don't know if it's state or lake record but anyways that's a big ass lake, fish still well, that's a big lake though that's what people but you can't even go out like on small charters for that price no and, and spend an entire six hours out no. so get out have fun tell them we sent you i'm sure he'll hook you up with a sticker or a hat because that's what benny does so it's a fact but you gotta tell him we sent you that's probably no. the rule Oh, safe yeah. to say Do but it. yeah you're gonna have fun blasting music is that uh his facebook at the bottom of the screen it looks like uh his instagram well is yeah it, be both ins- instagram oh, yeah. and okay, facebook both. Yeah. Both. yeah okay i don't know if he's got a talk talk yet but it's also it's not a small boat like you're not gonna be cramped <laughs> on the front of a like a 1648 you know like, no you could park a small it. car on this boat oh we wow. had five of us up front i mean you still had enough room for four of you to draw a bow mm-hmm and he was on trolling motor and could still, you know, get after it if he needed to. I mean, it's yeah. it's fun. And truthfully, you'll want to rotate, take a break. You know, oh, yeah. So, yeah. Take, you know, even four shooters, you, you could take more than that. Um, and he allows non-shooters too. But, yeah, yeah, book a trip. Get down there and here in the next, I would say, honestly, like next 30 to 60 days, call them, get it, get it booked because it's first come, first serve. Right. And uh, you won't regret it. I mean, for a cheap, I don't say cheap because that's not the right word, for a very affordable mm-hmm. evening, um, you're you're not gonna have more fun for that price. That's for damn no. sure. So that's he's got that special going. Take advantage of it. Uh, reach out to him, Captain Benny at BT Outdoors, and uh, go slay a buffalo. And then you know if you can't get down there, you can always still book now for right. the spring when you're going out for gar and gator gar right. and other fish. So, if I'm not uh, mistaken, he just needs you know a card on file to reserve the correct. spot. Um, it's just you know the commitment. But again, you don't have to go out and spend a thousand fifteen. You know, hundred two thousand dollars on equipment. He's got it already. Yeah, and it's already set up. You know, you're not going to be using up an hour or so tune in and everything else. You know, he's already got all this stuff. You go out, you show up, you say I'm ready to go, and you go. Now I do want to say we'll switch back gears here because we're talking back to <laughs> Shot Show 2022. Their theme is all in. Um, we'll be doing some little. Well, I will be doing some little lives. And I think we'll have to get some videos of Nick. As the weekend mm. progresses, I think it's important because we'll uh, be we'll be here live Monday. Uh, yeah. It'll be live from Vegas. We're gonna try to keep the time <laughs> as close <coughs> to seven o'clock as possible Central Time. Uh, but Nick will have time to get everything set up. Justin will be there. Yep. Uh, we'll be live from my room, and then we'll be probably doing some lives from the street. I think some, there's some people Nick needs to meet. And I've, who might this be? I've never been You'll there. find out. Is I've that right? Yeah. Either. Is that You've right? You've never been? Not to Vegas? Yeah. I, I've never been to Vegas. No. Why am I asking you that? I don't know. <laughs> like a no-brainer. I've never been anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is going to have it. You've never been, right? I've never been. <clears throat> never been. You know, it, what kind of people? <clears throat> people. 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 I don't want to, I, you know, even though oh, Will has Will been, know? Well, he's going to have to be my cohort on it, so... I'm going to have to fill him in. Even though he's never been there, this joke would be great on him too, but. But it'd be, Here, here's but it'd be better on up. me. Is that right? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here's where yeah. you would mess up, and you know where you'd mess up. I will roll with just about anything till it gets touchy. And that's, touchy. that's where I'm at. <laughs> but I'll roll with pretty much anything, and uh, I will flip it around on you quick. That's all right. We're gonna take Nick down, down the strip, down by Paris and Bellagio. I've heard of them. Cool. We got now, what Paris, kind of, We got a Paris in Tennessee. We do have a Paris. In now, Tennessee. what kind of people's down there? Fun people. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, great <laughs> I don't photo believe opportunity. You. <laughs> you can't live in Vegas and not be fun. I think it's against the. I rules. don't live in Vegas. Right, but they do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And our friend, <coughs> Anthony, will be there. Really? Well, yeah, at SHOT Show. Why oh, wouldn't yeah. he be there? I knew. I, 
For some reason, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so our friend Anthony, um, he's Curly Wolf. He builds our display cases uh, over at IC Tech, and uh, he handles a lot of the trade show construction from Aussie Oak. So Anthony is fun. We'll make sure we do a live with Anthony. Mm-hmm. And his son, some, his son will probably be. Let's just say they also do some pretty incredible uh, hydrographic stuff mm-hmm. with. That's I Curly mean, Wolf. Yeah. yeah, they could do anything. But if you search Curly Wolf, you could see some of it even firsthand. It's is it on there? If you search it on the, on the Google. Oh, <laughs> cool. On the Google. On the Google. On the interwebs. There's pictures of Anthony's son a couple years ago that'll seem tame compared to what we're gonna do to Nick. Hmm. Hold on. <laughs> He's starting to remember. Hold Flight's on. already booked. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the the phrase has changed to what we're going to do to Nick. Now. For, He's for overthinking Nick. again. For Nick. Different prepositions. Yeah. Just for, for Nick. He said to Nick. With Nick. It was, uh, it was he just misspoke. It's fine. It's yeah, I'm sure moment. he did, Will. Senior moment. I'm sure he did, Will. <laughs> God bless. You know, I know where both of you live, and only one of you knows where I live. Even if we didn't, we can find it pretty quick. Is that right? Yeah, your mom told us. No, she didn't. <laughs> Why do you respond? <laughs> it just keeps going. I can't. I can't. But out of curiosity, so if if anybody if anybody has anybody that they want to hear from at Shot Show, there are a lot. There's so many vendors and exhibits. Booths, exhibits, whatever it is. I want to say it's like over 5,000 or something. Well, there's so many. There's no way we can get to them all. And I found as I was going through making my list that I was I was getting giddy. You know, we're, we're going to see a lot of... <laughs> I knew I still had that text from Anthony. What's that? <coughs> that was... You want to share with the class? <laughs> no, we'll take the class we to got, school. Don't yeah, you worry. We got no Uh-oh. class here. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> but, uh... But there are. I mean, there there are actually going to be some local, some people that we know from this area that are there as well. Um, mm-hmm. Lance will be there from McLean Hands. Travis Ferguson's going to be there. Yeah, I saw that. So we're, <coughs> we're going to have to stop, say hi to Travis. And, but, uh, <coughs> yeah, tune in, follow us, let your friends know, too. If they want to see the new products, we, we are going to be literally going live throughout the entire week covering all the new products. So many. Getting all that video content pushed out so you can actually, it's like being there without being there. Right. I know that's not as fun. But it's a hell of a lot cheaper, right? And you don't have to wait for it to come out on the on the on the Google. You know, we can we can let you know firsthand on a lot of this <laughs> on the Google. <laughs> on the Google, what do you call it? Yes, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, <laughs> but no, I mean, if there if there are particular things folks want to see, I think you know if they comment on the page or you know, the ice tech page. I mean, uh, back to the lodge page or message us whatever. I mean, I'd I'd like to give people. You know, the opportunity to let us know kind of what they're what they're interested in. There are mm-hmm. a lot of veteran, you know, owned and operated companies that are going to be there, and we're trying to showcase yep. that. Some of the first responder based <clears throat> companies and exhibits, and, and there's just some really neat, cool products coming out. Uh, oh yeah, one was that flashbang system uh, that I sent you. Yes. The other one was that key control system. That was pretty cool. Put your fingerprint on it, dispenses the oh, key, yes. knows who took the key, and when it comes back in. Oh, that is neat. That is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. And so. not so not all of it is even just directly firearms related. I mean, that's stuff sure. you can use for accountability and, mm-hmm. and companies or whatever it is. Kind of saves you from having to make a. And that's what's book. cool about these shows too, because you know, yes, shot shows centric guns. Right. However, there's technology that comes out that another industry sees and goes, "Oh my gosh, this makes so much sense right. for this." Right. You know, so amazing things come out of these. Um, two years ago, I, I'm probably saying his name wrong. Kressel. Kressel. Uh, the inventor of impact gel. Okay. I sat down and spent some time with him and uh, just one-on-one, and he was telling me about it and what kind of uses it was. And I, the demonstration caught my attention. He threw it over his hand, took a hammer, and slammed his hand. So I'm like, oh, he just broke his hand. That's a no, bold move, Cotton. He didn't. <laughs> and I was like, so I had to kind of test it on myself at first. You actually have to hit it hard for it to, the impact to disperse because hmm. if you do it light, you can oh. still feel it. Sure. So I was a little nervous. But uh, long story short, like you see it everywhere now. Yeah. It's antibacterial. You got it in like fishing tackle boxes. It's in medical grade stuff. So, I mean, this was just a a gel the guy created, and now it's licensed and used in tons of products. Mm. So, it it just goes back to, you know, there's, there are multiple uses for lots of things. Mm -hmm. 
Well, one thing that's big in the firearms world is safety and security. And you can use that in anything. Nick I mean, has it, multiple uses. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, <coughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it, there are just so many. And you, anybody can go online and kind of see who's going to be there for the most part. Um, you know, some companies have already released, you know, articles and stuff like that, mm-hmm. kind of letting you know. So, I mean, if there's anything that people want to see, it doesn't have to be, you know, just guns. Like you said, I mean, there are all kinds of things. And if you're not into guns, you know, there will still be, you know, tune in. There will still be some things that are not gun There will be some funny things to watch. I promise you that. Oh, it's going to be regardless of being tired or not. Nick, why do you look like a pissed it's off gonna Luke It's going to be a hell of a week. I think he's scared. Yeah. No. No. Dude, you've already <laughs> survived treat. hot sauce, canned possum meat, mm. all these other things. Yeah, so when does it end? Yes. <laughs> Never, <laughs> do we never. still get each other? Like it, it just it never stops. Every time Justin calls, okay, so I say something stupid. I must not be around for whenever Patrick or you say, "Yeah, I'm gonna get him." Talking about each other, we don't. Oh, you mean no. when we mess with each other? I just do it. We just do yeah, it. we just do it. So no suspense. Messing with you is half the fun, right? Is that you right? overthink. The things. suspense doesn't get us. The suspense is what gets you, not the action. Yeah, we're it's used just to not knowing what's going to happen. That the military drives that in your head. <laughs> it's like if you're going to know what happens. Even if you don't do anything, like if we just build the suspense, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. Yeah, it's not like it's not bullying if you don't actually do it. <laughs> 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 it's only bullying if you follow through. I think they call that emotional abuse now. <laughs> Probably, yeah. I mean, there's there's a name for everything, so it probably. Oh, but you can't pick on people anymore. God, I don't know. It's something. You guys are mean. He's mean. Yeah, I thought Cobra <laughs> Kai was the underdog. Now they're mean again. I don't get it. I can't. Or no, I'm, it's Eagle Fan. I'm not really supposed to say Cobra Kai at home anymore. Oh, I ever no. tell you that? Probably because you make a move when you say it. Oh, yeah, I do karate every time. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, and that's where we hear the... Yeah, so fall. like there there are times where, you know, if you, you don't break it, but you can you can pretty well tap your Judy chop drywall. <laughs> Judy. And, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really hurt, but when you're not paying attention and you're doing like the no-look Judy... The no and you look. hit the door face. Okay, you've been watching Diamond Dave way too much. <laughs> For years. <sighs> Patrick, where do you know, sure. that's where do you know who that is? No, and you're going to make an age can. joke. So on that note, no, live. He's, he's no, your I, age. I, I swear. I promise. He's your Di- age. Diamond Dave. No, oh, yeah. I oh, knew Super cape Dave. Does, oh, no, 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 he wears no, no, a cape no. and does karate. Exactly. Super Dave's growing up. He's going to learn. He's going to learn He'll get on the camera. He'll get on the camera. He'll be like, hey, everybody, this is Diamond Dave. <laughs> Coming to you live from the trailer park with the old, with the good old Judy chop. Oh yeah, don't like he's go, got, he's don't got the go nunchucks. Ninjin. Nobody he don't, don't need, need no ninja. <laughs> You've never heard that? No. Look when oh when Wine with Will comes back, that's where I got my inspiration to teach the art of self defense. I like via the farting pelican karate. move. Look, I, do you want to smell a fart? Not from a pelican. Okay. Well, actually, I prefer a pelican. Hey, we need to get, self defense. We need to we need to put a a cape on Will and get him like a dummy. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and, Done. And so have him turn around. You in the shot? Got no, it. not a not me as a dummy. Uh-huh. I can do both. <laughs> of course, you can. <laughs> Multitask. But then turn around on him like, there's that pot liquor right there. Look, like, I can I can get somebody with a dip cap. I got you with a wrench from across the shop. You sure did. That's <laughs> broke that's my practice. ankle too. Hey, it's fine. You got another one. Look, so dramatic. <laughs> Shoot, I've gotten pretty good with it. I'll we'll we'll show that at some point. Mm. We'll have a contest, a karate contest. What is this roll tide <clears throat> shit on our comments? I don't Alan who, and Deb Ballard. Oh. Yeah, we know who you are. Well, <sighs> they just I don't know. I love them. I don't want to talk bad about them. Something like that no. around here gets you beat up. <laughs> People around the rest of the country might think they're brother and sister. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, no. Now, one is from Alabama. Uh, uh, uh. So we're, oh, we're safe. We're getting a lot of hate. They're good from, people. We uh, love them to death. From Alabamians. <laughs> Ala, Alabam- but if you're going to comment Alabamians? on here, we're going to have fun with you. <laughs> so. Is it Alabamans? Alabamians? I don't know. 
A la, a la siblings. Cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> one big family. Yes, I know it's a stereotype. People make fun of us too. We're yeah. good. <sighs> Ours isn't true. Almost can't make a joke in today's society. So. I will make all of the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that just got us canceled off YouTube. Yeah, I don't want to. Per- I'm not going to purposely offend. And if I accidentally offend, I'll only do it twice. Fair. First time and the last time. We'll see you next Monday from Las Vegas at the New York, New York. If you're going to be there, reach out to us. Say hi. We'll come see you. Hell, we might even put you on the show. You never know. Until then, live from West Tennessee, I'm Patrick. I'm Will. I'm Nick. And we are back to the Lodge. We'll see you next week. Hey everybody, Nick here from Back to the Lodge. Catch us every Monday evening at 7 p.m. Central. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about, so you don't want to miss it. And while you're at it, like, comment, and subscribe on whatever platform you got us on. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you when we head back to the Lodge. Where I come from, y'all say along about living.